you know, a lot of musicians are really kind of underemployed because you have to be in order to be able to, you know, leave to go on a tour or whatever. So, you know, a lot of people are overeducated and underemployed in order to have the sort of schedule flexibility to do that. And those kind of jobs don't really come with insurance. A lot of artists just, that's who they are at their core. They don't have a choice. That's the life that they have to choose in order to be true to their soul. The only reason that anyone would ever pose the question, why do you keep being a musician when you have all, you have health issues and you have to have health insurance in order to blah, blah, blah. It's like, no one would ask that question of a fucking Acura salesman. Like, I am highly skilled labor. I think a lot of cities talk about having a music scene. In Kansas City, we have a music community and it really is a music community. And when somebody needs help, the, the, the community really does get behind it. Just like the city is the crossroads of the country, it's also the musical crossroads of the country. You have music coming from all over into it. And we created our own sense of music in this place. Every sound is welcome. It's something that I think makes us special. The primary objective of the Midwest Music Foundation will always be to help musicians in healthcare crisis, take care of musicians when they can't take care of themselves. The first year was for Abby and to help with her bills. And to continue it, she wanted it to be for other musicians. I mean, it was her cause. It was the thing she wanted to do. Apocalypse Meow is an annual benefit and all the proceeds go into Abby's Fund for Musicians Healthcare. Sadly, we lost Abby in 2013 but um, we carry on her mission to support other musicians. We just try to relieve a little bit of the stress that comes with trying to navigate the healthcare system. Sometimes when you're sick, the, le the last thing you need to be worried about is paying your rent. If a musician has any kind of medical emergency, they could go online, apply for a grant. It's a very simple process. I get that, I send it to our board, and within a day or two, I have an answer for them, and I'm able usually to cut a check that week. I thought I was having a heart attack because my whole left arm was just shooting, stabbing pains. They took an x-ray of my neck and, and found those vertebrae collapsed, so. I was in a position where I was, you know, I just opened the music store, and there was no one to run it for me. I had a horrible injury to my ankle, and I had insurance but it barely covered anything. Um, I couldn't work. I couldn't stand in front of a class and do anything. I had a, a kidney stone episode. I got two different opinions from two different urologists and then wanted to do this really invasive surgery and it was gonna cost a billion dollars. Chris contacted me and suggested I fill out the paperwork for MMF and apply for a grant that enabled me to have the operation and take the three weeks off from work. I didn't even ask for the help. Rhonda called me. Hey, this is exactly what this fund is for. It's for helping people that are in the musical community that need, need it, that are you know, seriously ill. And I was seriously ill. And I couldn't believe how quickly, you know, some help came. They directed me to the website. I filled out some paperwork and there was no fuss. It was so easy. Because I wouldn't have been able to, I would have been pretty strapped if I had to pay all of those bills out of pocket after having missed a month of work. MMF paid my, my rent that month and my utility bills. And it was, it was a godsend. I'm so glad I reached out to them and I'm glad that they were there for me. Lucky. We've given out grants to about 60 musicians and that's actually about everyone that's applied. Being able to support them through the foundation, this allows us to help the people that are making our lives more enjoyable and giving us a richer experience in life by the music that they create. Music is not just part of my soul, it's part of my fiber. It's embedded in what we do. It's embedded in Kansas City, something that we always have to be aware of and preserve. 
Musicians are one of those very few things that, or one of those few groups of people, I should say, who bring some joy to people's lives. If, I mean, if I, if I could give every musician everything they need to be able to continue to make music, because I know music saves my life every day. That's the least I can do to try to make sure they just don't become homeless because they broke their leg. People ask me all the time how I find time to do all this stuff, and I, I don't feel like I have a choice. We do everything else we do so that we can do, so that we can play music. Like, we make massive sacrifices elsewhere so that music stays the central central focus of our lives. It's a pretty amazing feeling to know, you know, you're part of this community, you're doing something that's bigger than yourself, and what you're doing that night is going to be able to help people when they really need it the most, when they're at their most vulnerable. I'm always blown away by how generous people are, and it's really cool. <laughs> it's super cool. It's just people coming out who give a damn and want to help musicians, and that's cool. I think it's great. And honestly, you look out in the crowd and it's mostly musicians in the crowd, which I also love. Apocalypse Meow is Abigail's legacy and Kansas City's music's shining example of community and family. Apocalypse Meow is so important to the community, to the tribe. Midwest Music Foundation was a godsend to me. It is there for all of us in the music community when we hit some hard times and need, need some help and don't be afraid to ask for it. Abigail wrote this note to Brandon. Um, it came with uh, the check that uh, helped, me, helped send me to treatment the first time. You know, Abby wasn't like a close friend of mine at the time, so reading back on it after I had all these ex experiences with her, uh, it was really touching, you know? Brandon, I wish it could be more, but we're still a small organization. I hope it helps. Let Zach know there are still folks in his corner and not all bridges have gone up in smoke. He's an important asset to this music community. What you all have done all these years is important work. This is life. It's not an easy one, but there are people who are glad that you all do what you do. Be well, Abigail. None of this, the MMF would never have happened if she were not so friggin' awesome. People wouldn't have gotten on board with just anybody, but she also went out of her way and made it happen. And I also don't know too many people who are that hardcore about what they want to do it. If she wanted to do something, just consider it done. <laughs>